Okay, uh, I want to begin by giving giving uh, Michigan State a lot of credit. Thought um, they were as we expected. Played well. Played like a, a you know really good team, really solid team in a lot of ways. So a um, lot to learn from this. Need to get a lot better. But uh, give Michigan State credit for uh, for pulling out the win. I thought they were better uh, uh, than us in a lot of ways. And certainly when you allow a team to shoot seventy six percent in the second half and score 50 points uh, on your home floor, your chances are slim and none. What, was it something defensively that you guys weren't doing? Were they making shots, or, or why were they able to, to have a performance like that? You know, I, uh, they're a good offensive team. I think it was a combination of transition, half court. Um, you know, we, we put them on the line too much. We made some really kind of not, not the most uh, uh, intelligent plays with putting them on the line at times. Um, and then, you know, they converted on the line and, and you know, they were efficient. So it was really it was a transition. It was it was half court. Uh, and then late when we made a miss, they got a key offensive rebound. You've talked about learning about this team through adversity and in tough situations, and you were going to see a lot of them in the Big Ten. What did you see in your guys, and what were you maybe learning the last four or five minutes when Michigan State was starting to pull away and their shots are going in, your shots weren't. What What did you learn about your team, you think, down the stretch that you didn't know? You know, I, I don't know that uh, what to look at it and see. I, I think, you know, we, we probably had too much, I probably had too much youth on the floor in the last five minutes, four, four minutes. Um, you know, looking back on, I, we were a little bit limited, obviously, with CJ's um, uh, issues, but, um, you know, looking back on if I was to make a change, maybe I would I would try to get a little more experience out there on the floor. We just we just had too much youth at one time in that situation. Hopefully, it'll help us moving forward, um, and we'll we'll hopefully be able to execute better than what we did there late. As far as from a matchup situation, uh, Caleb Weston, just talk about the way he played against Nick Ward today. Yeah, I thought he was he was really effective and assertive in the low post. Um, um, and managed the physicality pretty well, got to his spots pretty well, and our guys did a really good job finding him. He's in a rhythm like that, and then he picks up his fourth foul. How do you gauge how soon you want to bring him back into the game when you take him out? About, the, about like what I did, uh, bringing him back at, I think, six and a half to go. Some of it di is, is dictated by the, the, um, the game and where's the game at and is it still within reach. But if it's a one or two possession game, it's probably going to be – you know, six and a half minutes to go. And, and if he fouls out, he fouls out. But, um, you know, I did not like one of his calls there uh, uh, late that it wasn't his fifth foul. Um, you know, but um, you have to look at it. And, and you feel like they called the game tighter at the end in comparison to how they've been calling it? To I thought um, the game was called a little bit differently uh, than what it was last year. Um, but I don't know. Um, if, you know, if it changed in terms of how tight it was. It, that's certainly not the reason we lost. Uh, we've got to manage uh, playing through physicality. And, and I would have liked to have seen us get to the line a little bit more than what we did. Uh, that was disappointing. But, um, you know, we also have to foul less. Chris, you, you kind of touched on it, but when you have a game where CJ's cramping, Caleb's in foul trouble late and maybe Keyshawn's not playing at the top of his game. You can't get either of those guys 30 minutes. Is, is just this team not really built to, you know, win a game or even keep it in a game when you have those three guys limited it, in various forms? It hurts us, you know, without taking away anything from Michigan State. I think it does hurt us, you know, perhaps playing some of those types of games with uh, uh, young guys on the floor will help us as we move forward. Um, if we can kind of break down the, 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 the game and, and teach better and, you know, challenge guys in certain ways. But, um, you know, the, I think the only way that you're going to improve in that is if you have a group that goes through it. Again, I don't know how many times we'll finish games like that. Um, but uh, we, we, we had to today.
And just listening to the way Tom talked about Cassius Winston and the way he played in the second half, he, he described Cassius as his, quote, like brain guy, just sort of an extension of, of himself out there. And I know you have Keyshawn's new, and you've only been with CJ for a year and a half. Just those two guys, consistency-wise, like where are you feeling that way about them, them steering the ship a little bit when you get into tight moments? You know, I think, I think Keyshawn needs to be more assertive and more aggressive, and I think ac across the board, you know, we, just, we had too many errors that are costly – uh, when you're when you're in league play, and um, um, it's a miss block out there, it's a it's a poor uh, defensive transition, it's a missed assignment. You know, we just had too many of those errors, so that's where our veteran guys have to be on point. They have to really be at a high level in those areas, and we're we're not there yet. Um, they have to lead in those the way in those areas, and 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 we're not there yet. We're just we're not. So coaches, we have to we have to teach it more consistently and better. And and as players, we have to just have to do a better job of of the stuff that we can control. Jackson was on his way to one of those career games, and you're you're never the same when you come back after cramps. What exactly were you trying to do with him in the second half, and how much did you miss him pre cramps? You know, he tried to go back in, but um, he. He couldn't. He couldn't move, and um, he, um, I think, thought he could go. And then we, you know, he he switched a matchup on the floor that that, you know, we did a matchup we did not like. Um, we had a young guy on on Cassius, and it wasn't a great matchup for us. So at that point, if you can't if you can't move and you're not, you know, he, he wasn't as you know the guys on the bench were saying he's not himself. He's not himself. So at that point, we have to try to. Go, uh, go with somebody else. And you're right. He he was playing well. I thought he was really active um, in the first half and and led us in deflections. He was playing well. Um, now again, if he plays 35 minutes, 10 more minutes, are we going to win the game? Who knows? Uh, uh, but um, that's you know he had to he had to come out at that point. You, you talked yesterday very positively about Michigan State and the statistics and whatnot. I'm just curious now, having gone directly against them, where you think you guys are in comparison to, to kind of those elite teams? We're not there yet. You know, we're, we're not, we're not, uh, we're certainly not there yet. Um, you know, you let a team shoot 76% on your home floor and score 50 points, then, then uh, you got a long ways to go. And um, I think that is – that's a fact for us. So, you know, as I said, I, I, I don't know that you can make real significant assessments after one, uh, one game. I think we'll know a lot more in two or three weeks as we go through this grind that is Big Ten play. Got a lot of respect for Michigan State. I still have a lot of respect for Michigan State. I think they're terrific. I think Tom's got a really good team. But – uh, as far as we're concerned, I just think we have, we have a we have a young uh, we have a long way to go, and uh, it's a group that we've enjoyed working with. So hopefully, we'll continue to improve. The effort that you got from Dwayne, who at times seemed to step into the moment, at times maybe had some tougher moments. What freshman growth? I don't know. What, what yeah. do you what do you see from him today? What, inconsistency. Yeah, inconsistency. But uh, really good moments. Really good moments that I think we can build off of. Um, and um, was engaged in the game and, and um, you know, uh, liked his aggressiveness. Thought his shot selection was a little better with the exception of one or two. Uh, one late um, that, again, I think hopefully as he gets older, he'll understand, um, you know, that we need to make better decisions in that, in that situation. But, you know, he was inconsistent but gave us some really good moments. Do you like seeing just kind of an old school physical matchup between Caleb and, and Nick? Like when you see two bigs like that just battling back and forth, do you enjoy that? Um, I enjoy it better when we win. So I don't know that, um, but it's, it is old school in a lot of ways. You just don't see, you know, a ton of teams, although the team we're playing this next week, Rutgers plays through the post really effectively. But you're right, it is old school in the sense that you just don't see a lot of that now in college basketball. But it's the makeup of their team and it's the makeup of our team. Um, and, uh, 
you know, we got to get better at playing through the post and, and better at defending the post. And we have to have multiple guys that we can play through in the post. Did you have a sense heading in that your players were looking forward to a game of this loftiness or caliber or however you want to put it? Do you have a sense coming out that they're looking forward to the next one? I would hope that they're looking forward to the next one. You know, we got a lot of learning to do between now and then. Um, you know, as I've always said, you know, you, you give a team like Michigan State tremendous credit because of the, um, um, you know, what they face on a night-to-night -night basis based on the quality and the consistency of their program. So, uh, the, you know, any team that's coming in here, they've been top ten the last two years. We've played them. It's a great credit to them. Um, I'm sure our guys were anticipating uh, this game. But uh, I don't know that I, as a coach, necessarily always have a great feel for that because, you know, we're kind of focused on execution and, and the next the next play. How would you feel the uh, crowd was here in the shot today? Tremendous. Yeah, I thought our I thought our crowd was tremendous. And how uh, important was it for you to get Justin in the game to play against his brother? Well, he's you know he's um, Justin's a tremendous kid and has a very very bright future. Um, you know, he's playing against his older brother who's, you know, went through some ups and downs there uh, based on injury and all that and has really played uh, a, a terrific role for them right now. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy for, for uh, his brother and excited about what Justin's going to become.